Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Gamer Genius TV, where we play games all the effing time. Today we've got more of Isaac's blog. We're still catching up. Still a couple episodes behind. So we're going to get this caught up real quick. Let's hit that random button. We found Eve. And a Curse of the Labyrinth. And a Lust. Those are so rusty. God, you sexy. You sexy, sexy whore. Now, if you haven't already found it, go check out Ziggity Zig's channel on YouTube and Twitch. And all the social media as well. It's two G's, two T's, and a whole lot of hilarity. I like that. That was pretty good. Contact my agent. If you would like some of your own work done. Alright. Let's get this insane room cleared. Jeez. Oh, XL floors. I don't know if in our rule set that we're, we're going by for the Isaacs blog slash blog videos, um, we're allowed to reset early like you would normally in a race situation. I don't think we're supposed to, which is why I'm not reset. But what we're going to do is go ahead and die. So there's that. <laughs> that sucked. Alright, so we got the Curse of the Martyr for our first item. Which is very good because Eve sucks on damage. She really needs some help. Come on, little leaper. Just you die. Now, with this item, she basically goes up to normal starting damage for Isaac, which is the base player of your bar. Which is no longer around. I'm not sure why that was my go to band. I don't even listen to Nirvana. It's weird. Let's see what we got. Fucking famine. So in the last playthrough that I did, which I actually just recorded, uh, I got Isaac with the D6. If you haven't seen it yet, I won't spoil it for you, but there was a lot of early carry. Which just means I got a lot of really good items early on. But, I, I kept getting these freaking horsemen over and over, and I just don't, I don't need to fight more than one of them. It's not helpful fighting anymore after that. Oh boy. Let's try and get this fly out of the way first. Okay, so the goal for both of our first four boss fights is just do not get hit. Not take any damage because it significantly lowers your chance at getting your basement to double deal. Also, you can't take any red heart damage on the basement two floor or cellar two. Basement two slash cellar two. Those are interchangeable. See that using that. Meat cube like a pro. Getting lucky like a pro. Okay, so we still don't have any keys. Double pills. Okay, those are useless. So again, we don't have any keys to even check our item room. I'm still not sure if basement 
sweet. I'm still not sure if basement two. I don't want that. If I check the curse room, if that counts as red heart damage against me, against my double deal. So we're not gonna check it yet. God damn it. Where was I supposed to go? So this may very well result in not getting a devil deal, however we are going to take the shit out of that candle. Just took the shit out of it. <laughs> that is going to give us a big damage boost. Come on, Devilly Deal. Sweet, we still got it. And we even picked up a health up. And it's freaking Krampus. Oh, that sucks. It's the worst time to see Krampus. Jesus, some flying. That is gonna help a ton for me. I really suck at this game without it. But yeah, we're gonna go check our curse room. Also, flying lets us not take damage on our way in, only on the way out. So from now on, our curse rooms only cost half as much as they normally would. Also fantastic. You always want to stop and check in your battle rooms just in case there's an item in there. Sometimes there's a compass or a uh, one of the, uh, the injections like Roid Rage or Speedball, a Virus. Actually, I don't know if Speedball goes in there or not. I know 100% that Roid Rage or uh, the Virus does. I'm pretty sure Roid Rage does as well. damage, but it's not red heart damage, which means it's not going to hurt our double deal chances. You're going to hear that a lot, because winning this game means getting your uh, It's the fucking fast jump. Oh, shit, he is fast. Oh, God. I don't know how I'm not gonna take damage here. There we go, that's how. Using that candle. Oh, we get some speed, that's not bad. No devil deal. Find our item nice and quick. Always a plus. Take a quarter. Now we're gonna go look for a shop. Now we're gonna check in here for a key. Not a key. Should not have checked in here. Really should not have checked in here. The pill better be good. Mistakes were made. Come on, dead bird, do some DPS. We're gonna take it. 
range. It's not awful. Can't believe I missed. Something good. Why be stingy? Why did that take a whole part away? I don't think I was supposed to do that. Take this key as well. We're gonna carry that twenty cents on to the next floor. Well, we're already going a little faster than we did last game. Wow, really? Usually right next to your boss room. But you can't bomb into, so there's no reason for me to try. Norayasen! Still looking for that mapping. Still need a lot more damage. Get some good money. It's probably going to be greed. Ah, you fuck. Dirty little fuck. Okay, well, we got to have it. Jack all total car. 
garbage. And now no keys. Hmm. Hope you got something good for me. so we can go to our battle room. I want to know what's in there. But we got our key. X-ray specs. Definitely worth. Yep, there it is. Umbilical cord. Okay. after I finish this room. I definitely want that. Definitely, definitely. spiders. How the hell are you supposed to even eat them when you don't have flying? Or bombs? Stop, yo. Can't believe really I didn't take damage from that. see if we can use this because I do have the habit Yeah. 
still want a shop on this floor. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Can't quite reach these assholes. I can't hold them. penny and a counterfeit penny that would mean so much money with an arcade as it stands it means nothing Good run. I'm gonna go have a little peek in our curse room.
why you leave at least one fire still up. Nothing to generate anything in this room. Oh, that was just pointless. Okay, that sucked. on a single shot. Is mom, so we're not actually going to go to her yet. Oh, 
super secrete. Uh, well, I'm not really. I don't have any soul hearts to protect it, but I can't come back after I fight the boss. It's his mom. So, there's not really much point in me leaving it there either. It absorbed one hit for me. Oh, look! A spoon. Just what I needed. Shite! Alright, guys. This is how this is gonna go down. I'm gonna go fight Mom. I'm gonna beat Mom. And I'm gonna go to the next floor. And we're not going to get a double deal again, because that's our last chance for one. I'm even going to get an angel room. Nothing. That's what we're going to get. Oh shit, I forgot about that. And I missed it. And I got shot in the face. And I walked into something. You know, this has been a pretty good run so far. She hit me? God. She just died. Uh, worst run ever. Should have just left the soul hearts on the floor. And you, Gertie, hate your ugly fucking face. Damn it. All oh, the damn it. There's 14 kinds of damn it. So we're gonna die, it's Eve time, Eve time, bitch can't do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Um, I guess that's the end of this run. Fick. So hit that subscribe button down below for me if you haven't already. Also go check out Ziggity Zig's channel, he has an Isaac's log up to compete directly with this run. We'll see who made it the furthest since I didn't even get to the end. Oh well. Anyways, catch you next time. Peace. Oh, Eve, you're such a bitch. I can't sing for shit. <laughs>